Moms and dads, boys and girls, welcome to another edition of Children's Bible Minutes brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. Graffi Muki and I are excited to be with you this wonderful Wednesday afternoon. We apologize for not being with you on Monday. Monday we had a very hectic work day and we were unable to get our video up and running. But guess what? Today we will begin our look at a brand new character value and this one is called responsibility. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about what responsibility is and what it means to be responsible. Today Douglas is going to be with us and he's going to share with us his understanding of responsibility. But before we do that, we have to get into our Bible reading for today. And our Bible reading for today comes from the book of Leviticus chapter 5 and we're going to be reading from verse 14 through to verse 17. Let's have a listen. The Lord said to Moses, When a person commits a violation and sins unintentionally in regard to any of the Lord's holy things, he is to bring to the Lord as a penalty a ram from the flock, one without defect, and of the proper value in silver, according to the sanctuary shekel. It is a guilt offering. He must make restitution for what he has failed to do in regard to the holy things. Add a fifth of the value to that, and give it all to the priest who will make atonement for him with the ram as a guilt offering, and he will be forgiven. If a person sins and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, even though he does not know it, he is guilty and will be held responsible. So, there we have it. Verse 17 of Leviticus chapter 5. Anyone who sins and does something against what the Lord has commanded will be held responsible. But what is responsibility? Being responsible means that you have to own up to what it is you say you will do, what you have done, and what you have been blessed with. And to tell us a little bit more about what responsibility is, we invited Douglas from Douglas Talk. Mm -hmm. And he's going to tell us, well, a lesson about taking care of our blessings because being responsible is exactly just that recognizing we are blessed by God and taking care of those blessings. Let's listen to what Douglas has to say. With great blessings come great responsibility. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about responsibility. Yeah, and being responsible means, means taking care of what you are in charge of. And I don't know about you, but I really hate waking up in the mornings, right? You know, there's just so much stuff to do before you go to school or before you go to church. You know, you got to wake up early so you don't miss the bus and you got to, you know, take a bath or a shower or whatever. And, and then you got to have your breakfast and you got to brush your teeth and then you got to get dressed and you got to get everything ready for school and then you got to go to school. And that's just, that's just getting ready. That doesn't even cover all the stuff you got to do all day long. You know, you got to do your homework. You got to take care of your dog. You got to do your chores. You got to do all this stuff. So much stuff. And it was starting to get really bad in the mornings because it was, it was just really starting to get to the point where I was just not listening to my alarm clock. And so my alarm clock would go off and I just ignore that. And then my mom would have to come and like drag me out of bed. And I'm just laying there like a jellyfish, just like, oh, I don't want to get up. And then one day she had just she had just had enough. And she said to me, she said, Douglas, it's time for you to count your blessings. And I was like, what? She was like, I mean it. Count your blessings. And I was like, what, what do you mean? And she said, literally, count your blessings. What are some of the things that God has given you that he has blessed you with? And I started thinking, and man, I it did not take me very long to have a very, very, very long list. I kept going so long, I was, I was pretty worried we were going to be late for school. And my mom explained to me that just about everything that I've got to do, all the responsibilities that I have, are because of a blessing that God has given me. All that stuff I got to do in the morning, you know, getting up early and brushing my teeth and, and you know, getting my clothes on, all this stuff, all this stuff is because of blessings that God has given me. And one of the best ways to tell God that you are thankful for what he's given you is to take good care of it, to be responsible with it. Who do you think gave you your brain? Yeah, God did. And God wants you to take care of it. 
And going to school gives your brain the, the food and the exercise that it needs to grow and be healthy. You know, God gave you your teeth. And so brushing your teeth every day is a good way to take care of what God has given you. You know, my dog Roscoe, is a, is, he's a lot of work. I got to clean up after him. I got to feed him. I got to take him on walks. But I love my dog. He's such a good dog. And you know, it's interesting because I'll bet that everybody out there would say, oh man, I would really love more blessings in my life. But with more blessings comes more responsibilities. And I don't want you to take this next part as meaning that God is like some kind of vending machine because you can't make God do stuff. But the Bible does say that if you are responsible with a little amount, God will give you more. I think that's super cool. But it is a lot of responsibility. So my challenge to you guys today is I want you to look at the stuff in your life that seems like a lot of work. And I want you to look at those things and I want you to count the blessings around those things. I got to wake up early so that I can take care of my teeth, which God gave me, and I can have my breakfast, which God gave me, and I can put on my clothes, which God gave me, so that then I can get on the bus, which, you know, God has blessed me with the fact that my family is on the bus route on the way to school. And then I got to go to school, which God has blessed me with a free education. How cool is that? So that I can feed and exercise my brain, which God gave me. God has given us so, so much. And one of the best ways that we can thank him for what he's given us is to be responsible. Hey guys. Wow. Thank you so much, Douglas. Being responsible with what God has blessed us with is important. Acknowledging that God has blessed us with stuff. And you know something? Recognizing that God has blessed us with things and that we are supposed to take care of the things he has blessed us with is just the first part of being responsible. Being responsible as well for what we do with the things that God has blessed us with. Mm -hmm. How we use these things, that is also a part of being responsible. And you, as you would have heard in Leviticus, using the thing that God has blessed you with in a way that is not pleasing to God, we will have to be accountable for that. But we're going to talk about accountability and responsibility in our next show on Friday when we continue our look at being responsible and the character values of responsibility. For now, we are all out of time. Mm -hmm. Time goes quickly when you're having fun. But we are glad that we could have been able to talk about responsibility being, you know what, a lesson in understanding to take care of our blessings. God has blessed us with so much in this world and we have to take responsibility of how we use it, when we use it and why. Now, we're going to close off with a song, and this is a value song from App Useries, and this one is called Being Responsible, yes? But before we listen to that song, could we share with you a word of prayer? Excellent. Let us pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we just want to thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence to learn from your word. God, we heard today about the character value of responsibility. We heard, God, that you bless us with so much, but that we have a job, a duty to take care of the things you have blessed us with, that we have a duty and a responsibility to use the things that you have blessed us with in a way that will be a blessing to you and a blessing to those around us. God, sometimes we take for granted we overlook the blessings you have given us and we don't own up for our actions of how we take care of the blessings you give god help us to remember that indeed to be responsible means to acknowledge that you have blessed us and means to use those blessings in a way that blesses others and god sometimes we are sorry we do things that we know are not pleasing to you and we know that when we do these things you will hold us responsible for not using your blessings in the right way. God, help us to continue to see that to whom much is given, much is required from. That means being responsible. We thank you, God, for loving us. We thank you for the gift of your love and for your son, Jesus Christ. Help us to be responsible followers of Christ to share our blessings with others. This we ask through the name of your most precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, boys and girls, that is all the time we have for today here on Children's Bible Minutes. We hope you have a slightly better understanding of what responsibility is. And we look forward to sharing some more on Friday with you about the character value of responsibility. We're going to listen to our value song for today from App Useries. 
this one be responsible we do hope that in all things you remember you are responsible for being thankful for the blessing of god and using those blessings to bless others remember to keep yourself and your family safe wear your mask wash your hands and watch your distance until friday same place same time god bless and bye for now Subscribe and leave a comment.